Okay. Did you tip it down like this? Mm -hmm. Come on, sentence. Hi, everybody. Can we stand on it and see if it works? Yeah, that works. Let's we'll scoot it back just a little bit. We're trying, we like moved furniture around to kind of get like a different setup today. <clears throat> mm. <clears throat> Hi. Hi, Christine. Um, we'll get started in just a few minutes. Crazy cats here. Hi, Shalane. Good morning, good morning. Patty, hi, how are you? Is it just you practicing or do you have kids with you? Okie dokie, it is 9.30 still, so I'm gonna wait like two minutes. Um, John's gonna be practicing today, so I'll probably be talking while he does most of it, and then I'll do some of it too. Um, there's nine of you here. Yay. That's cute. You don't need your on you as long as you're on. That's all that matters. Yeah, we ran out of shaving cream, so we ordered some on Amazon, but it hasn't gotten here yet. So that's why he's got a scruffy face. <clears throat> Hi, Trisha. <laughs> Okie dokie, I think we're gonna get started here. Um, so like always, I'm not gonna use music. So if you have like another device that you wanna like put music on softly in the background, you can. Um, today's class will move kind of fast at the beginning and then it'll slow down for the last half. Um, so you might get a little bit of sweat on, depends on how hot or cold your class is, your class, your room is. Um, and that's that. So if you see our cats wandering around, sorry. Um, you know, that's how this rolls. Um, Awesome, okay. Oh, uh, oh, hi, Sophia, how are you? I didn't see that until right now. I know, isn't that crazy? It only took a pandemic to get people to take my class. Um, just kidding, you live so far away. Uh, I'll, we'll start today standing in a forward fold. So just come to the front of your mat, lengthening down towards the toes. It's gonna feel probably icky and creaky and stiff as we start out here. But just feel yourself softening in. Really trying to feel the body just alive and living right here and right now.
anything your body needs in this moment here. You can grab opposite elbows. You can let the fingers drift down towards the mat. Even soften the eyes closed. Cat. Okay, I wish you could all see this. This is the cat right now underneath the little stool I have for the. Yeah, for the sorry for the interruption. Come on, Sundance, get down. I just didn't want my laptop to go flying. Um, okay, don't keep sorry for that. That was fun. You're still forward folding. <laughs> And then when you're ready, you can slowly just roll up vertebrae by vertebrae, nice and easy till you come to a standing position all the way. Feet just planted firm into the yoga mat. The eyes can still be closed. Just feel yourself starting to stand up just a little bit taller. And then maybe starting to deepen the breath. So your inhale through the nose, and then sigh it out with the open mouth. Good, again, big deep breath in through the nose. Sighing it out. And at the bottom of that exhale, the belly lifts and squeezes, pelvic floor tightens. Big inhale through the nose. Now sealing the lips, exhale through the nose. I'm starting to create a little bit of sound and rhythm with your breathing. Good. Your next inhale reaches the arms nice and high towards the sky. And then exhale, take a big side stretch over to the right. We'll hang out here for a couple breaths. So each inhale, try to find length through the fingers. And then exhale, sway even deeper into that side bend, grounding the left foot down into the mat. Good, as you inhale, pass through the center and then exhale, it's over to the left, starting to feel like on the right side of the body. Inhale, reaching further, and then the exhale grounds that right foot down. Back to the center here as you inhale, a little back bend as the chin lifts to look up, and then exhale, folding forward. Bending the right knee, left hand down, you can reach the right arm up for a little twist to the right. And again, we'll hang out just a few breaths, nice and slow this first round through. Eyes trying to look towards your fingers. And then exhale, bringing that right hand down, switching sides, and inhale, left arm. Your next inhale lifts you up halfway to look up and out. You can bring the hands to shins. And then exhale, plant your hands, step back to the top of a push-up plank pose. Big, deep breath in through the nose. Exhale, elbow squeeze, chaturanga, lower down. Toes flip, heart opens, inhale, up dog. And then exhale to downward facing dog. First one of class, so pedal through the knees if you need. Taking three deep breaths here. And then an inhale to lift up to the tippy toes, look towards the hands. Exhale, step or hop to the front of your yoga mat. Half lift as you inhale, and then exhale softens you back down. Standing all the way up, reaching tall. And as you exhale, it's a side bend to the right. Passing through the center on your inhale. Exhale, it's over to the left. Inhale back with the center, chin lift, small back bend, and then dive forward as you breathe out. Half lift as you inhale, and now connecting all of those movements here, vinyasa, stepping, hopping to the back of the mat, plank pose, lower down, chaturanga. Heart opens as you inhale, and closes on the exhale for three deep breaths. After that third round of breath, inhale up to the tippy toes. Exhale, step or hop to the front of the yoga mat. Half lift as you inhale, look up and out. Exhale, soften back down. 
Inhale, standing tall, reach the arms up. Exhale, side bend to the right. Inhale through the center, and then exhale over to the left. Inhale back through the center, a little back bend there before you dive forward on the exhale. Half lift as you inhale to look up, and then exhale, take your vinyasa all the way to downward facing dog. One more round of breath here. And then inhale up to the tippy toes, look towards your hands, and then a step, maybe a float to the front of your yoga mat. Half lift as you look up, and exhale, soften one more time through. Inhale, reach tall. Exhale to the right. Inhale, pass to the center. Exhale, left. Inhale back through the center for a back bend and then exhale, diving forward. Don't forget your half lift on the inhale. And then exhale, stepping those feet back, making your way to downward facing dog. The option to take out the push up is always there. Inhale up to the tippy toes, exhale to the front of the mat. Half lift as you inhale to look up and out, and then exhale, fold in. Sink the hips back into chair pose, utkatasana. Your big toes are kissing your hips, dropping low like there's an invisible chair behind you. Thigh bones squeezing in. Arms reaching high to the sky there. I really think about that belly pulling up, so don't let those ribs open. Try to pull them in. And then maybe the eyes lift to look past your hands. And then we'll spend a few breaths each exhale, trying to drop deeper into the chair. Breathing in, finding length through those fingers, and then exhale, sinking deeper into your chair. Good, one more big breath in. Exhale, straighten the legs, folding forward. Half lift on the inhale to look up and out, and then exhale, plant the hands, take it to downward facing dog. From your down dog, the right foot will step forward between the hands. Left heel seals down. Coming up, warrior one. Arms reach high. Good. Really feel those hips dropping into that wide-legged lunging shape there. You can heel toe the feet apart if you need to get a little wider so the hips can drop even deeper. Arms reaching up towards the sky. And then feel the right leg pulling back into the hip socket as the left hip presses forward. Good. Arms open on your exhale, warrior two. Looking out over the right fingertips. Again, the hips really sinking into the lunging there. Big deep breath in. Exhale, let the hands come behind the back, interlacing the fingers. Puff the chest up high on the inhale. Exhale, bow forward. It's humble warrior. Your right shoulder connects to the right inner thigh. And the hands start to gently fall away from the hips opening up the front side of the shoulders. Listen carefully, the right hand releases, comes to the outside of the right foot. The left arm swims up and over for extended side angle pose here. So the body shifts open, those ribs trying to rotate up towards the ceiling, towards the sky. And the eyes looking past that uh, left hand, it's up and over. For us, you're looking to the kitchen, but I don't know where you're looking, hopefully somewhere fun. Good, we're gonna spend one big inhale here. Lift that right hand up to meet the left arm, up by the ear, keeping the ribs right where they are. Can you just hold it here for two seconds? And then as you exhale, right fingers come down in front of the right toes. Inhale to take off for half moon pose. It's a balance here. Right foot roots down into the mat. Right fingers gently touching the floor. Left arm reaching towards the sky and really kicking all your energy through that left leg towards the back of the yoga mat, towards the back of the room. Good. One more big deep breath in. 
And then as you exhale, sit down for a seated spinal twist. The left knee comes to the outside of the right foot. Right arm comes behind you. Now you're seated on the mat. The left arm can swing up nice and high. And then exhale, hook that elbow onto the knee. Big deep twist here to look behind you. Maybe even going for the bind. And then as you inhale, coming up to boat pose, toes come up off the ground. You can grab onto the legs here. So wrap the arms around the legs just to find your balance at first. And then maybe gently release one hand. And then if you're really fancy, you can release both hands. And then trying to reach the chest forward towards the knees or thighs. So it's not rounding down, but really reaching and opening through the collarbones. Holding here for two more breaths. And then as you exhale, crisscross the ankles, you can roll over the knees, step the feet back to the top of your push-up. Lower down, make your way to downward facing dog. Getting ready for the left side. It's the left toes that step forward between the hands. Right heel will seal down for warrior one. Arms reaching high, hips dropping low. Belly zipped up tight here. Really trying to sink into the sensation that you're feeling in that front left hamstring. Big deep breath in. Exhale, open up, warrior two. Looking out over the left fingers, maybe even feeling the hips dropping in just a little bit deeper. And then as you exhale, hands come down behind the back, interlace the fingers, puff the chest up, High, and then exhale, dive in, humble warrior. Left shoulder connects to the left inner thigh. Hands falling away like a waterfall from the hips. Releasing the hand, it's the left hand that comes to the outside of the left foot. Right arm swims up and over their extended side angle. Really trying to press your left hip forward in this so that the right rib cage can open up towards the sky for a big side body stretch. And then on your inhale, try to lift that left hand up to meet the right arm. Arms right by the ears and holding. And then exhale, fingertips down, preparing for half moon. So slide those fingers in front of the toes, taking the back leg up and off the ground. Kicking the right leg back behind you. One more big deep breath in. And then an exhale to that seated spinal twist. The right knee comes to the outside of the left foot. Left hand behind you, right arm reaches high. And then as you exhale, hook the elbow and twist looking behind you. Might even hear a snap, crackle, or pop in the back. Good, inhale up to boat pose. Maybe not grabbing the legs this time. Can you find the balance without holding on? So really just rooting in through the sits bones, belly's engaged. You can stretch the legs long or if you need to bend at the knees and then breathing into this shape. Three more deep breaths. One more big breath in, find as much length as you can, and then exhale, cross the ankles. You can roll over the shins, placing the hands down. Make your way to downward facing dog. We're gonna take that same sequence here on the right and left again, just moving a little faster. So the right leg steps forward between the hands. Left heel seals down, arms coming up to warrior one. And then as you exhale, opening the arms to warrior two. Hands behind the back on the inhale, puff the chest up nice and high. Exhale, bow forward, humble warrior. We'll spend two breaths here, inhale. 
and out. One more big inhale, breathing out. Right hand comes down, the inhale opens you up, that side angle, hold here for an exhale to look past the left fingers, and then inhale, reach the right arm up to next to the ear. Good, holding here as you exhale, and then inhale, right fingertips down, coming up, half moon pose, balancing on the right leg. As you exhale, sit all the way down to the bum, left knee on the outside of the right foot, coming into that seated spinal twist, getting a rotation, a spiral all the way through the spine there. And then an inhale up to boat pose, toes lifting off the ground. Exhale, crisscross the ankles, cross, roll over the shins, jump back, downward facing dog, or take the chaturanga up dog, and then the downward dog. Left toes this time, step forward, right heel seals down, arms coming up, warrior one. Exhale, opening up, warrior two. Hands down behind the back as you inhale, chest lifts. Exhale, dive forward, humble warrior. Holding here, two breaths. Hands release, left hand down, right arm swims up and over for that side angle pose. And then as you inhale next, lift the left arm. And then exhale, hand comes down, starting to take off on the inhale, half moon. And then exhale, cross that in the outside of the left foot, seated spinal twist. And then an inhale up to that boat pose. Exhale, crisscross the ankles, rolling over the shins to downward facing dog. Taking three deep breaths here. Lowering down to the knees, coming into child's pose. Now, that'll be the fastest part of our class today. So you might feel the accelerated heartbeat. Maybe some sweat starting to glisten giving you that quarantine glow. <laughs> Just take this moment here really to feel the body. Feeling all of the energy running through Really just feeling you, feeling yourself living right here, right now. The right hand will make its way to the right heel. Coming into a half camel stretch, the hips will come up off the heels, pressing the hips forward as the left arm swims up and back so you get up. Big stretch to the front side of the body. Eyes can look towards that hand, reaching behind your chin, lifting away from the chest, opening through the shoulders and the ribs, the heart. One more big breath in, and then exhale to come and pass through child's pose. Left hand finds the left heel. And on your inhale, start to lift up, pressing the hips forward, arms swimming up and back. Feeling that expanse and open through the front side of your body. Combating all of the sitting on the couch and Netflix, the scrolling through Facebook and Instagram. Feeling it open up here, one more big inhale. Exhale, returning to child's pose. We'll take another little sequence of postures here and we'll hold about five breaths for each of them. So when you're ready on your next exhale, coming to downward facing dog. We'll inhale our right toes high to the sky here. It's a three-legged dog. 
Good. Holding here that left heel roots down through the mat as the toes lengthen and reach high. Feel the hands pressing into the mat, belly engaged. So it's really energy working in all directions here. It should feel intense. As you exhale, crunch it in knee to nose. It's like a little knee nose touch. Good. As you inhale, lift those toes up. And then exhale, step the foot between the hands, coming into crescent lunge. The back heel stays lifted, so it's not like warrior one, but the hips are square to the front, arms reaching high, hips sinking low, chin lifted so the eyes can look up at the sky. Big deep breath in through the nose, and then exhale, bowing forward for thunderbolt. The arms come down by your side, chest leans forward. So you're shifting some of the weight now into the right foot, pressing into the ball of that back foot. The chin lifted, eyes looking up and out. That right arm starts to reach even further to the right behind you as the left arm swings up and over for a reverse revolved crescent. So you look towards the back left heel there. How deep can you rotate and expand and open in this lunging shape? As you inhale, the body turns the other way now, opening up for sky archer pose. The right hand swims up and over, catching the right wrist with the left hand, pulling back so that it's like you're a bow and arrow, getting ready to shoot your messages to all of the people you can't see in real life. The legs engage to your thigh bones, thigh bones pulling in. And then as you exhale, tip it over like a little teapot, right fingers reach to the yoga mat, the toes, the ankle, maybe the shin. The left arm is reaching up, trikonasana, triangle pose. And like somebody's got a little string on your right hip, right at the front of your hip, they're gently pulling that right hip forward so that the left hip can flow backwards, opening up that side body stretch here. Good, inhale up to a five-pointed star, really just opening the body, facing the side of the yoga mat there. Toes are gonna turn outward. And then as you exhale, drop down into Buddha squat. Hands can come together at heart center. The hips sink low. And we're not trying to stick the booty out. We wanna keep that butt tucked under and in. So we're not opening, we're trying to sit up tall as the hips drop, opening up through the hips. And then as you inhale, lift the arms nice and high. Look towards the fingers. And then exhale, take the hands behind the head. We'll take a little tick-tock here. Inhale, come to the center. Exhale, left elbow to left. Inhale, up through the center, right again. Right elbow, right knee. Good, back in through the center. Over to the left. One more time, right and left. Over to the right. Passing through the center. And then over to the left. Inhale, straighten the legs. Turn the toes in now so the feet are parallel. And then exhale to dive forward. Fingertips trying to come in line with the toe tips there. So it's like a line in the sand that you can't pass. The crown of the head reaching down towards the yoga mat, the hips lengthening up towards the sky. And we'll spend a couple extra breaths really to soften into this shape. You're gonna gently crawl yourself to the left foot, the back of the yoga mat here. The right hand will come next to the left foot for dragonfly twist. So the left finger starts to reach up towards the sky. It's like you've got big dragonfly wings here. Really reaching up through the left hand and pushing strong into the right hand. And feeling that rotation from the hips through the ribs, expanding through the arms. You can bring the left hand down if you need. We're gonna come into um, 
revolved half moon. So the back leg's gonna take off, but now we're twisting our half moon shape here. So the arms will still look like those dragonfly wings, but now the back leg is lifted off the ground as the left leg roots down through the yoga mat, kicking the energy through the right heel behind you, expanding and twisting here. That back leg starts to bend, the heel comes towards the bum, the arm reaches back to catch the foot. You can keep those fingertips on the ground for balance, and then as you inhale, start to kick into the hand and allow those fingers to lift up off the ground for a twisted dancer. Really trying to open up the front side of the body here. And wiggling and wobbling on that supporting leg, really pushing down against the mat so that the mat pushes up against you to give you strength and balance. One more big breath in. Exhale, crunch the knee in front of you. Catch on to the shin or grab the foot with the right hand. Peace sign fingers, your two pointer finger and middle finger wrap around the big toe. As you inhale, start to kick the leg out in front of you. You can't quite straighten the leg, that's okay. Just find that balance on one foot with the energy lengthening, starting to grow as the toe kicks into the hand. Taking the right ankle, crossing it over the left knee here. Coming into a figure four, sitting down into that one-legged chair pose, your hands pressed together at heart center. Sink the hips just a little bit deeper here. You won't stay too long. And then as you inhale, start to stand up. Can you pull that heel up towards the hip crease? So it's like a half lotus, but you're standing. You can't quite get the heel all the way up. You can take it wherever it needs to go. And then a big inhale to lift the chest up nice and high. You can reach the right arm behind for a bind. And then as you exhale, dive forward towards the yoga mat, reaching those fingers down. So you're stretching long over the left leg. Balancing, stretching, breathing, eyes trying to look towards your shin or behind you. As you inhale, standing all the way up now, extending those right toes out in front of you, nice and long, reaching the toes towards the back of the mat, straight leg, pointed toe, lifting as high as you can, three breaths here, inhale. Oh, I'm falling. Good. One more big breath in, lift them up as high as you can, and then exhale, swing the leg back and down, hands to the yoga mat, stepping back to the top of your push-up. Mm -hmm. Okay, John's not happy, he's making noises. Hard. Downward facing dog, it's the three-legged dog here. So the left leg lifts high facing the back of our yoga mat. The right heel presses down into the ground. Arms pushing into the mat, fingers spread, but not too wide. As you exhale, crunch it in knee to nose. Inhale, toes float high. Exhale, step between the hands here. Coming up to that crescent lunge, lunging on the left leg here. Deep hips dropping low, arms reaching high. Good, big breath in. And then an exhale to bow forward, thunderbolt, arms down by your side, chest leaning forward over that left leg, really pressing into the ball of the right foot. Eyes gazing past your left toes. Maybe a little bit further, so the neck is still long. And then starting to reach the left hand behind you just a little bit more. The right arm swings up 
As you look back, or reverse revolve crescent. It's a twisting towards that front thigh, a looking back towards your right heel. And the hip still dropping into the shin. Inhale, open up to sky archer pose. Straight legs here, back heel seals down to the yoga mat. Left toes point towards the back edge of the mat. Catching that left wrist, pulling back. Again, like you're shooting those messages to everyone you can't see. Thigh bone squeezing in here. And the legs stay engaged as the teapot tips over towards the toes, towards the back of the mat. Left fingers to the yoga mat, ankle, shin. Right fingers reaching high. Triangle pose. Your next inhale brings you up to that five pointed star reaching out in all directions, toes out to the side, heels in, dropping into your Buddha squat here and just taking the hands straight behind the head. You can take as many of these as you want, moving as fast or as slow, those little TikToks to the right and left. But three would be a good number. Making sure that you breathe into the sensations that start to tickle the thighs as you drop the hips nice and low. And then when you're ready, you'll turn those toes in, straighten the legs and fold forward. This time you can take the hands behind the back like you were in that humble warrior, interlacing the fingers. And then allow the hands to fall away. Shoulder bones opening up here. Feel the scapula kissing behind you. If you're still tick-tocking, that's okay. You can tick-tock away. We'll all meet up here when you're ready. Getting ready for all of our balancing at the end of the mat. We'll crawl at the end of the flow here. We'll crawl towards the front edge of the mat, left hand down next to the right foot, opening up dragonfly twist. So the right finger is really reaching high to the sky. Left hand planted firm into the ground. Dragonfly wings. Two more breaths. And then when you're ready, that revolved half moon, those left fingers will shift forward just a little bit. Back leg takes off. If you have to put both hands down to get your balance, that's okay. Starting to feel that rotation here. Those right fingers are reaching up. The back foot is flexed. And then the toes are trying to point down towards the mat. So those hips are really squaring off. Feeling that rotation here. Just a few more moments. Your left knee bends, drawing the heel towards your bum, right hand reaching back for the foot behind you. As you inhale, start to take flight here, that twisted dancer. Opposite hand is grabbing the back foot. You're kicking all of your energy into that hand. And you feel that opening, drawing across the chest from the left knee all the way up to the right shoulder. Good, crunching that knee in front of you as you exhale, touching onto the left toes. You can take the right hand to the hip. As you inhale, start to kick out that left leg, balancing on the right, rooting down nice and strong. That foot is flexed here, so the heel shooting energy out in front of you, picking a steady place to gaze with the eyes to anchor you into the balance.
And then when you're ready, crossing the left ankle over the knee, sitting down into that one-legged chair here, figure four squat. And just imagine that you're sitting down at a table at your favorite restaurant that you can no longer go to because it's closed. Maybe that thought brings you a little smile to your face so you don't have to feel the pain in the right leg. And then when you're ready, inhale to stand up nice and tall, drawing that heel up towards the hip crease there. You can keep it as low as you need. And then as you exhale, we're gonna bow forward, reaching the hands down towards the yoga mat there, balancing on the one leg in a forward fold. Feeling that hip opening stretch, but also feeling the right hamstring lengthening. Inhale draws you all the way up, left toes shooting out in front of you, lengthening long, arms reach up towards the sky. Holding here, three breaths, each inhale lifts those toes just a little bit more. Good, one more big inhale, lift, 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 lift. And then exhale, swing the leg back, place the hands down, make your way to downward facing dog. Taking three deep breaths here, just to reconnect to that breathing if you've lost track. Those beautiful rhythmic inhales. Connect to those rhythmic exhales. And then when you're ready, we'll rock forward to plank pose. Plank pose, top of a push-up. Holding here for five deep breaths. Oh, John's not happy. Five deep breaths, pushing, pushing down into the hand so that the upper back starts to dome up. Really feeling the arms, but also feeling the core strength here. Good. One more big inhale, and then exhale to lower down to the forearms. Balancing your forearms are parallel like train tracks, palms facing down. Take a big deep breath in. And then as you exhale, just walk the feet forward towards the elbows one step. The hips will start to lift just a little bit. Good. Another big deep breath in. Exhale. Take another step towards the elbows. Hips lifting just a little bit higher. You'll start to feel more weight in the forearms. So push down into the yoga mat there. Big deep breath in. Exhale. Step towards the elbows. Good. Again, big breath in. Exhale, walk it forward. We're coming into dolphin pose here, really pushing down through the forearms. You can keep the toes on the ground, just balancing and pushing into the forearms. If you'd like to try to kick one leg up off the ground, you may, or maybe even kicking both legs up into a forearm stand. And just a few moments of play time here for you, the last little part of class, but really trying to strengthen that pushing away. So really pushing into the mat, so you're creating length through the neck, through the shoulders, I feel like I should cover the camera up. Don't watch him because you're gonna be like, oh. And then when you're ready, we will all meet up in child's pose. It's the second child's pose of our class today. Feeling that life just pulsing through you. And as you exhale, we'll come into downward facing dog. Right toes lifting high. And then as you exhale, take the right shin to meet the front edge of the mat-ish. Left leg long behind you, it's pigeon pose here. So you can gently crawl the arms out in front of you. 
Feeling a deep opening and release in the right hip. And allowing the breath to find a smoother rhythm now. and into those sensations instead of coming up and out can you breathe and surrender a little bit deeper On your next inhale, gently coming up, we're gonna twist the body to the side. Janu Shrasasana will reach the arms up. And again, we're trying to soften down into the shape, so no need to grab on and pull. Try to just soften the breathing and melt into the release. I've had a lot of time to watch videos and clips on are you surviving this or are you living this? And at first I was like, I'm gonna survive, I'm not gonna get sick. Like, heck no, I'm good, I'm my immune system, I'm I'm not going out, I'm watching. And surviving this so that you could finally live at the end of it. We're actually living in the moment that you have right now. So as you melt here, try to live in these sensations, sinking into them. Just a few more deep breaths. Inhale to gently come up. Exhale, we're gonna come into that downward facing dog facing the back of the mat. and scooch the legs around in any way. It's the left toes that will lift high to the sky. And then reaching that left leg forward for pigeon pose. Shin parallel to the back of the mat, foot flexed. And then softening over to feel the release in that left hip.
Just a few more breathe breaths. That left hip there, twisting over to the right so that the right leg is long. Left sole of the foot connects to the inner thigh, knee falls out to the side. And then gently softening over the right leg, melting in. Five more deep breaths. Inhale to gently sit up, straightening the left leg long and rolling down onto the back. In just a few moments for any last minute shapes your body may need. It would be a twist to the right and left, a bridge pose, happy baby or a shoulder stand. And then when you're ready, stretching the legs out nice and long. Arms resting down by your sides. Eyes can close and they fall heavy in their sockets. And then scanning the body to see where you might still be gripping or holding tension with a breath, allowing yourself to release. And then taking the next few minutes in this final shape to let the body cool down, the nervous system to cool down. Shavasana. Take rest.
Taking a deep breath in through the nose, letting it out with a sigh. Bringing some gentle wiggles into the fingers and toes to wake your body back up. And then making your way to a comfortable seated meditation. Sitting up nice and tall with the eyes still closed, bringing the hands to heart center. And instead of using this time to get ready for living, let's try to live in the today and the now. Exhale to bow forward and seal in your practice. Inhale to sit up tall. Exhale, open the eyes. Namaste. Thanks, guys. Yay. Um, thanks, y'all, for being here. Um, have a great um, rest of your, I don't even know what day it is, Monday, Tuesday, okay. Monday. Have a good Monday, and I will see you all around on the internet. I'll, we'll stay on for a little bit if you guys have questions or want to send us messages. Um, John's going to teach tomorrow, tomorrow, 9 30. Um, like free flow, vinyasa style. I'll try to make a playlist for it. And um, uh, John's gonna do full moon tarot readings. New um, moon. New moon. Sorry, new moon tarot readings. So if you go to his Instagram, there's a little thing. Um, hey. Um. Yeah. Uh. Thanks, Sophia. Um. Thanks, Laura. Thanks, Christine. Thanks, Patty. Sorry, I'm just saying all this. Um, anyway, so if you want a tarot reading, um, it's $200. I'm just kidding. Um, uh, no, but he'll write out or get a whole thing sent to you. It's really cool. Um, so um, message him about that. And everyone's talking about your forearm stand. Um, well, thanks, guys. Spread the word. These videos stay up on the channel so you can share them with like friends and stuff. Yeah, that's that. So have a good Monday. We'll see you guys later. Namaste. Thanks, guys. Bye. Are you sure you want to end your stream?